This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Talk of Asian marketing, and today we're going out to see some kind of new retailing development in Taiwan and in Asia. And here behind us is a place in Taichung City called Tiger City. Why it's called Tiger City? Well, we can go in, we can look at some of the little toys. They have a little icon, they try to do the whole branding thing, it catches on fast. It's a very Western idea. And I think, Stephen, this is kind of comes down from Taipei, where we have Taipei Dongqi area. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, east history of the Taipei city. Uh, a lot of shopping, yeah. movie theaters. Uh -huh. Now and department stores. Department stores, of yes. course, can't have, cannot go without department stores. And just one block from here is a huge department store. Two blocks from there is another department store. A lot of department stores around here. Now, I always think about movie theaters in Taiwan, about my experience back in the 80s, James. Mm -hmm. When I first came here, there was one big movie theater in Taichung City. And when you go in there, it always made me feel like um, in the Soviet Union. It was a huge theater. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's got the carpet going down and the big vel velvet. You oh, know. big red carpet, yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. And the big, uh, the big velvet covered chairs, you know, yes. felt covered chairs. They're really comfy kind of seats. Yeah. yeah and it's a little bit dirty and not kept up too good. <laughs> and we would watch the movies and you could never hear the sound good. Uh, and, and they had always had to uh, turn down too low. And I also remember James Bond. I was here during the time they had James Bond James over. Bond. And they were still editing the films then. <laughs> yes. And so I think one woman took off her shirt and they put the big, you know, yeah, the black black on it. <laughs> 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 right? But things have changed a lot. Yeah. And But it's really only recently. Uh, uh, so now we have a place like Tiger City in Taipei. Well, in fact, you yes. can just, you can just see just behind us, actually, there. They've got the, uh, yeah, the, new, the, the new, new movies coming out yeah. there. Yep, yeah. they got the big signs here. Yes. So right now in Taichung, in Taipei, in Tainan, we can go to some of these kinds of department stores or these kind of shopping areas and see some really nice movie theaters in the kind of Western sense. You won't really, really notice much difference. Well, it's going to be interesting once we get inside. And I mean, to go back to the point of getting in nice and easy, we see lined up behind us rows of scooters and in fact this is sort of uh, not peak time and we're standing in plenty of other space oh, yeah, for scooter parking with, with scooters you just pull scooters. off the main road just come straight in it's real real convenient again i think a key point is that the demographic for this kind of place is young people young people yeah uh, very young in fact mm -hmm. they could be even junior high school yeah. kids come yeah. over shopping a little yeah, teenagers bit. teenagers yeah. uh, it's yeah. a teenager group Tweens. isn't it Queens yeah, and teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your twenty yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, twenty somethings. Yeah. Now, when you go in, surprisingly, a lot of the prices are really high. Yeah. Uh, the restaurant, there's a uh, Chili's, I think, in here. That yeah. I can't afford to go eating there very much. <laughs> kind of like a Friday's kind of style. Uh, very sure. overpriced. But the movie theater is an okay price. It's fairly reasonable. Yes. Yeah. Now there is one thing they have in this movie theater. I don't know if you've seen this before. They actually advertise on television and in flyers that you can reserve a seat in the movie theater. Yes. And you get a special seat that has partitions mm -hmm. for you and your friends. Second half. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and they will bring a bottle of wine or champagne. Oh, oh really? Yes. Yes. Ah. And you have a little table that you can eat it ah. on. And it's a special kind of service. Have you oh. uh, heard about these at all? No. Oh, it, it's uh, kind of uh, like the... Uh, um, <clears throat> Cinema, right? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a KTV, but it's not one room. Uh -huh. You're in a movie theater, yeah. still, yes. but you're each group, uh, each couple. So is it, 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 the back is covered as well. It's got a little yeah. door has it as well. Well, no, no. Or... You're facing the screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And people are around you, but yeah. it's just partitioned enough. Yeah. So okay. you've got that little bit of private yeah. space. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, uh, back to the uh, early. Uh, 80 or yeah. uh, uh, late, uh, uh, 70s, yeah. there, are, uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, coffee shops like this one. The, uh, what the, little the small yeah, group? With, with the high uh, uh, base seat, you know. So you can't see over yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, the, light, the lighting is very... Uh, oh, sort of dim very, and low, is it? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. Uh, yeah. And uh, this, um, <coughs> this layout, uh, layout is... Uh, 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 similar to the, the open area, uh, the three, uh, three, 
driving, mm -hmm. driving Arriving theater the yeah, in yeah. the United States. Mm -hmm. I, I, mean, uh, I mean the same uh, idea right. for the uh, young right. couples. Because uh, 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 right. that's always a big problem, isn't it, for young couples who want a little space. bit of private kind yeah, of space. Yes, yeah. So that kind of really yeah. calls really to that. When you're in a city like this, almost anywhere in Taiwan, and Tokyo is the same way, Japan's the same way, you just have no personal space. You don't, because yeah. particularly at home, often it's the extended family at home, so there's no right. real space, there's no closed doors, everyone's on top of each other, so right. there's that real call for a little bit of space where you can go and have uh, a little quiet moment with the second second part, shall we yeah, say. Yeah, <laughs> so here you pay a little bit extra, you can have your little space in the movie theater. So That's all nice. the demographic they're shooting for is very much that younger demographic. Right. We're going to switch places and look around. Maybe you can see some of the people walking through. It's That's that very young demographic. But Stephen, I am a little bit surprised and interested. What do you think about this price situation? Because the shopping in there really does seem expensive to me. Mm -hmm. We're, we can go to a department store and of course you have the expectation of that expensiveness. And then the department store also have their special sales and their sale floor. But um, here you don't get that. So how do we, you know, what's the demographic you think? Were you having young people, uh, early 20s and even teenagers, and coming here with these high prices? Um, yes, I, I, I think, um, in my opinion, the, the, young, uh, the purchasing power of the uh, Taiwanese young people is not so low. They, they got a lot of uh, pocket money. From pocket there. money. And yeah. then, uh, <clears throat> and they, uh, in the meantime, they they, uh, they got a lot of uh, uh, part-time job. Part-time job. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. They, yeah. And, uh, and uh, sometimes they, um, they, they, um, they do not go to the school, but go to <laughs> go for a walk. This is a bit yeah. of a problem lately. Yes. Yeah, we get a lot of, yeah. In fact. We had uh, uh, some parents at my school complain. Uh, uh, they said that their students are home more than they're at school. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and besides, uh, yeah. uh, um, <coughs> their, uh, their parents also provide the, the credit, credit, credit card. Credit card. And, uh, and cash, card. cash card. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So That's they, a big deal now. Cash cash yeah, that we were talking you about that. Cash cash cash. Cash. With on the uh, language show, on the Chinese show, the, the George and Mary card. That's a yes, card. Yes, 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 right, yeah. right. And mum and dad just charge it up, don't they? Yeah. Well, yeah. here also the banks are easy to go after any money you owe from your family. Yes. I don't think that's so true in the West. Here you can run up a debt and your family is still responsible for you. Whereas in the West, mom and dad would just say it's not my problem. Yes, once you reach that legal age of responsibility, it's your, your debt in the UK. Whereas right. Over here, of course, the extended family, and that's how the banks see it too, isn't it? So, like, so this is, if you come to Taiwan, or you come to Hong Kong, you come to China, especially places like Shanghai, I think, you can see these places kind of easy. Yes. And I think we want to emphasize, people have a lot of places they go. This is, I don't think this is the main place to go. Like my daughter, when she was in high school, they came here maybe once in a semester. It's kind of a special going out, you know? Yes. It's not something they go to always. They go to the night market, they go to other places. But this is a once in a while. So be careful, don't confuse it with the mainstream. Yes, yes, I, this is a uh, would you, would yeah, you taste yes, special. Yeah, and uh, uh, for the teenagers, uh, going he, uh, <coughs> coming here is yeah. a ritual. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a ritual for yeah. them. Uh -huh. So they have to uh, come once or uh, once or four twice yeah. or twice a uh, yeah. uh, 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 couple of months. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's money every fast. few months, yes. isn't it? It's, yeah. it's it's not a daily thing. Whereas yeah. the night market, we'll see later in that, is something that's much yeah, more of a there every week, every week, every yeah. week. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, go around and take a look at some of the decorations, some of the service gate. Very interesting. And uh, take a look over here. Okay. Talk of Asian marketing, and we're continuing our visit to Tiger City, a very up-to-date kind of westernized situation, retailing service scape. Sure. Something a little bit different though than in the West. And Stephen was just talking about it is this huge space we have here. Yeah, Stephen, really. you want to elaborate on that? Uh, why, um, why this big space? Okay, uh, this uh, <coughs> open space is uh, for two things. Uh, the first one is for the uh, event marketing. 
event yeah. marketing. We can see well, behind us it. a big yeah. stage, and this is usually used on the weekends. Yes. Yeah, They'll have a band or some kind of activity, mm -hmm. and this whole area will be packed with young yeah. people. Yeah. And so, the uh, second one is for the uh, socialization activity of the cu mm -hmm. uh, customers. Um, mm -hmm. um, the customer can. Uh, can uh, stand here or uh, uh, sit there, uh, waiting for their their friends or family. Mm -hmm. The comfort, it's like interesting here, actually, yeah. The Starbucks, we have the table down and everything, yeah. And it's interesting, it's kind of a universal design, isn't yes. it? That uh, we're talking about, you see it in Tainan, yes. you see it here, you see it up north. They always have this space for these big events and people just to get together and uh, group group together. Yeah, I think more in the West you'd have a closed mall right. and you, if you have an event it's inside, mm -hmm. yeah, but here you really get a lot more of that space. I think it would be very hard to get people packed inside. It's yeah, very, sure, very sure. Yes, I mean the ones uh, I, I think of back home, the Blue Waters, which is a big shopping mart mm -hmm. in the south. It's the largest one in Europe, in fact. It's just surrounded by a car park and everything is inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, um, <coughs> just um, echo Echo in the, uh, the, the torture we, we have ever. Uh, this kind of the, uh, uh, event marketing can uh, a, a, attract, attract the, the, um, the, pace, uh, the pace of the to come in. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It opens onto the street, doesn't it? Yes. So people can really see what's going on. They can see this stage just here. It's the same in town, and it opens right out. You can really draw You're people right on in. right the road there, and then people just, just come suck right people in. in. Yeah. yeah. This is all that zone now effect we we talk so much about. Yes. And so it just draw people right in. I also think it harks back to you know you've got this big. Uh, Shoe, uh, horseshoe design, mm. kind of. I mean, it's very typical for Chinese houses to be designed this way, too. Yes. So people just feel very comfortable. It's like a courtyard kind of right. thing. Yeah. Even though it's not a traditional retailing situation yeah. at all. It's, it's, it's not that at all. Um, we're going to go in, take a look around. Uh, we'll take consumer cam around with us at another time and take some shots and look around. That's good. You can see on the first floor, we got a Starbucks. We have the ice cream place. And we have some other snacks and some food when you walk in. I think if you were to stop here and walk in here, you would think that this is really, you know, on par with something you'd find in the UK, oh, indeed. in Shanghai, in Hong Kong, or in, in the US. A little bit smaller scale, though. Yes, the that's stores right. are still they're still small. Lots of tiny. small units inside the, the big space, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go take a look inside. Yep, let's go inside. Okay. This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior.